Yes. Which one you can do, Kyla? Mint. Why mint? Just, just say it first. Time. I don't know, just grew up doing mint. Probably because she's a girl. Is she a girl? Yeah. Some years, man. Nope, me either. So how many years were you? Uh, I don't know. I think I was in high school. Mine too. High school. That was over ten years ago, Ryan. That's her sister, right? Yep. Sydney Lively. <laughs> the cold as ice, man. Oh, they're talking about the future of a kingdom. They kind of have to be, I guess. Yes. They use magic? Yep. That's kind of cheating, don't you think? Yep. Using that book. It's cheating. Yeah. Oh yeah, she doesn't like pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the only thing I like about pumpkin is pumpkin pie or pumpkin spice coffee, but I don't really like just the pumpkin. I like pumpkin seeds roasted. Ah, I don't really forgot about those. I like growing them in Harvest Moon. That's just because they sell for a lot. You grow pumpkins in Harvest Moon? Mm hmm. Which one? Well, the one I'm playing right now is Tale of Two Pounds for the DS. Huh, yeah. Like they have a bunch of crops, including flowers, that you can grow and sell in those games. Yeah. Like for like spring, it's like ten different ones. Yeah. They said it wasn't good enough to rule a kingdom, so I'm gonna take over the world. <laughs> well, at least you got a plague plan. Go big or go home, I guess. Yes. I 
I guess I'm just the old retro game, okay? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> last, oh, Har the point. last Harvest Moon game I really played was on PlayStation 2. The... Which one was that one? That was Save, Save the, the Homeland. Save the Homeland, yeah. There's a Wonderful Life, special edition for, Humble S for PS2. I, yeah, I played Wonderful Life on PS1. I never, I never got no pumpkins. I don't think it's in that game. Yeah. You know, after playing Back to Nature for a while, I have trouble getting used to the idea of fertilizer. Back to Nature, yeah, that's the one I played Back to Nature. That's a good one. Fertilizer? Mm-hmm. The later games you use fertilizer to raise the value of your crops. For real? Uh-huh. Then you get a seed maker so you get higher quality seeds and get higher quality crops without using this much fertilizer. Huh, I didn't know that. Oh, they're getting really technical with those harvesting games. Yep. You know, I've always liked this game. You know, the first time I bought it was at Walmart. Really? Yeah. It's before GameStop, I guess. I don't remember. <laughs> <It's a joke. laughs> okay, yeah, this is this part might be where a joystick would be a bit more handy. Yeah. Controller's not wanting to work. It's a primitive tool. Primitive tool, just a D-pad. <laughs> Corona. That means crown in Spanish, right? I have no idea. Gotta <laughs> <laughs> yeah, talk to every single person? Yeah. I'm the same way, I have to talk to every single person. So Parky actually comments on that. Talking to everyone, huh? Got a hardcore gamer right here. <laughs> <laughs> I've always liked this game, I mean back when it was Squaresoft. Now it's Square Enix. I didn't even notice the difference, I just noticed Square. Yeah. Did you ever notice that Easter egg? What Easter egg? The one you just passed. Watch, I'll show you when you, when you go right, back outside. Again. Right there, see? On the left? Left, right, this one. That's Chrono Cross. Really? Yeah, that's cute. Huh. Guess I should really get around to playing that game sometime. You've never played Chrono Cross? I played like the first five minutes one time. I like it. That was great. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting used to using the beat pad. Were you a fan of Squaresoft? Yeah, I like the games. So when do you think when was the, the RPG golden years? I think it was PS1 or PS2 or NES? I don't know, they're all pretty good. I always think it's like PS1, PS2, RPG golden years. Hmm. Well, it doesn't help that you pre-filtered a lot of the games I played throughout high school. Mm, Remember, I just got the games you left behind. <laughs> yeah. Well, now you can play any games you want. You play a lot more different games than I play. I play a lot of Fallout. Play like Fallout, Dark Cloud, stuff like that. Your basic introductory course tutorial. tutorial. 
this one's very, very self-explanatory. Really. You know, you don't have to kill more and more. Just... I know, I just like to gather a bit more energy. Off I go. Currency. Do they use currency in this one? Thing? Yeah. GG, I think is what they call it. Uh, like a save to Jaguar. Remember at school you used to draw a bunch of video game enemies for fun. And everyone thought I was making it up. <laughs> I know, man, nobody. When I was like in middle school, nobody played RPGs. I was like the only one, only the two other people. Everyone else was all into Resident Evil, Sonic Hill. But I was like the only one who played RPGs. I used to play this on my my little PlayStation One system. I remember that one. Yeah. <laughs> Come on! Oh, that mint so cool. You know, I never noticed that until I was older, but this is kind of disturbing. Yeah. But I guess if you're hungry, you know. I mean, couldn't they just eat some of those rabbits that were on the way? That's what I would have done. Yeah, but for the most part, we kind of know how to take care of ourselves. Mm, that's true. Mm -hmm. I would say Mint is way more aggressive than Rue. Oh yeah, she is. She is aggressive as hell. She doesn't even think, I don't think, before she attacks. No, she does not. <laughs> right for your face. He's gonna hit first, ask questions later. Mm -hmm. Exactly what she did here. Yep. <laughs> She's just running around. As I recall, you just have to beat one, right? You just gotta knock them both around. I remember her strongest attack was that kick. Jump kick. Oh, that explains why I'm defaulting to using that. <laughs> <laughs> Her goal is world domination, so she kind of thinks big. Uh, yeah, I guess so. And what is she looking for exactly? Um, a relic. What's a, a relic? Pow a powerful aeon thing, like a thing of great magical power that she can use to overpower her sister and kick over the kingdom. Oh. Uh. That girl's a little ditzy. I always thought she was a little ditzy. Yeah. And she always thought Rue turned into a man instead of he turned into a polywog. Yeah, she thought he was a polywog that turned into a man. Yeah. Rue the polywog. <laughs> polywag. How do you pronounce that? Polywog? Polywag? I don't know. I don't know. Like a lot of people are after this relic. Actually, be awesome if they actually made this. And that remaster thing we were talking about. Yeah. 
I forgot you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot you don't like remastered games. No, I haven't played a good one. I like the little cutscenes they put in on uh, Rano Trigger when they put it to the PS1. Oh yeah, they did do that, yeah. They made it all anime style, pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Do you know there was this, I think it was the same artist who did uh, Chrono Trigger, the same one who did Dragon Ball Z. Oh really? Yeah, that's why they kind of look a bit similar. Mm -hmm. Yes they do. Supposedly he did a Dragon Warrior too. Uh, I don't know that one. Klaus. Is that how you pronounce that? Klaus? I've been mentally pronouncing it as Claus. I guess it is Claus. Who gives their name? Who gives their son a name Claus? She's not all boy crazy. Not at all. No. She has bigger things to do. She's got aspirations. So yes, yeah, she's very reckless. Yeah. Not somebody you want to trust with the kingdom. That's true, I start a war. Canada. Canada, I guess, yeah. I think I remember something being over there. This place has like... Sometimes there's some places you can't get to until you're like... Further on? Leveled up, I guess. Oh, maybe it's over there. See? Oh, I don't yeah. Know how the hell you can get over there? I think you have to become Rue and transform or get over there. Well, how does she get over there? She can't. I don't think so. That sucks. Hey, those porcupines are a pain. <laughs> gotta eat jump attacks because <laughs> you just. You just get my ass kicked. Just push you around. Right in the face. The music's so beautiful in this game. I really like this. Yeah, man, I'll spell the trick. Sometimes I'll play it when I was studying college. The music? Mm -hmm. I think I have one of these songs on my, uh, on my study playlist on Spotify. Yes. Yeah. Especially the town music. I like the town music and the sports music. Mm -hmm. There was an HP fountain somewhere. Right? Oh shoot, there might be. Here it is. Ooh. That's all you do is kick him in the face. 
which promise attack, go for it. What was it? You have to defeat them both at the same time? I guess. I'm not really sure. Water attack? Nice! Yeah! I guess you do! <laughs> I've only played hers once, I think. I've played Rue's story like three times. Yeah, I've only played Rue's story once. <laughs> I got used to long range from long range attacks. Uh, I've always been like more of a sword and shield kind of guy. Not really an energy person. Even when I played Oblivion, I was just a sword person, not a magic person. Or when I played uh, Diablo, mm. I've always picked the Barbarian because I just go around slashing, slashing enemies. Let's go to the default. The angel? Mm -hmm. 